Hello there, thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Messing About with a Narrow Boat. Now this week's vlog is part two of our mini series on the undergunnel cladding, so the preparation and the painting of all the tongue and groove that we need to do. So a short video, but really just keeping you up to date with all that painting and all the sanding. Hello. Hello. Day eight of our mini project for undergunnel cladding. Mm. Roma's, uh, Roma's here today, so we're just going to crack on. It's not raining, it's bloody cold though. And we're just going to get through and sand yeah. 100 bits of wood. Now that's the end of day eight. Another hundred bits of wood sanded and prepped. Done quite quickly, thanks to Roma's help. The quality of this batch hasn't been that great, unfortunately. Uh, the wood was pretty dirty, so we needed fairly hefty sanding to get some of the dirt and grime and what looks like tire wheels off it. Uh, all the edges had, had just loads and loads and loads of breakout on the edges uh, and some of the milling was rough, really rough and not very good quality. So we've, we've had to ditch about 10 panels, 10 sheets. And we'll see where that takes us. I've kept them just in case we need them. I can always kind of sand them down and put them behind cupboards and stuff. Alrighty then, day nine, and the painting marathon continues. Absolutely chucking it down outside again. It's going to be raining for the rest of the week, so I'm so glad we got all that sanding done yesterday. Now we can go ahead and just paint and paint and paint and paint and paint and paint and paint. And paint. There we are, lunchtime. It's another two and a half hours done. Three meters again. Ah, that's a uh, one hour for lunch, everybody. So, lunch over. Time for second coats. Second coats go on very quick. I can absolutely fly through the second coats. The first coat pushes the <clears throat> primer sealer into the grain. The second coat just seals the sealer. <laughs> and that's that. Second coat, one and a whiz. Put them on the little painter's triangles. And then, we're done. That's like watching paint dry. Just like that, we are over. <clears throat> That's that one. Next. And just like that, another 27 metres of wood painted two coats. So time to wrap up day nine. I've got a little bit of paint left in the trough so I'm just going to do a couple more strips of wood just to keep going and I don't think I'd be able to do it with such speed without ZZ Top helping me along. I only took about an hour and a half to do the second coats and thank goodness things have been just dry so quick because you get two coats done in a day for so much wood, it is, it's, it's great. Well, day 10, it's still raining and I'm still painting. 
Hold still. Hey, bastard. Well, that's the end of the day. It's been a tough day, I have to confess. It's been a bit of a challenge to get into it. I've had to really dig deep to make my quota today. I think I might need a day off. But on the plus side, I got through quite a lot. More there. And my done pile is getting bigger than my to-do pile, which I'm quite pleased about. It makes me feel a bit better. Uh, but as you can see, standing up against the wall there, uh, as I was going through it, definitely that second batch of wood that I bought is, is a lot worse than the first batch. Uh, I've had to discard quite a few bits this time, so painting and some of the knots just fell out. Not great. Uh, you know, what can you do? So that's me been standing every day now for nine days. Now, I know there are people out there going, what? I stand every bloody day. Yeah, but I'm an ex-office worker. You know, I sit in my arse most of the day. Uh, interesting. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my back's a bit sore. So look, if you like uh, this little mini series of what we're doing, uh, and you like watching paint dry, <laughs> Uh, why not like and subscribe? Uh, there's more of this painting to come. How exciting! Well, in day 11, it's work day. I actually had a day off yesterday. Uh, but today, more painting. It's lunchtime, yay! And another wad of first coats done. I'm definitely getting getting into a routine. Although, because I had a day off yesterday, uh, I realized that it kind of mucks up your brain a little bit. And I had a bunch of senior moments where I only painted one side of that lot. And I went, ah, I had to go and do it all again. So I might not make it back in this afternoon. I've got a whole bunch of house chores to do, laundry and, and dusting and hoovering and all that sort of stuff that just needs to get done. Uh, plus, it's Friday. So technically it's Poet's Day. So I'm excused. Mmm. <laughs> Good afternoon. It's day 12. It's been a busy morning, so I didn't really video anything. But I finished. I finished all the painting. Yay! Look, there's a gap on the garage floor. And that lot's just drying. I've got wood everywhere. But I'm so happy. So once it's all dry, I've got to give all of that lot a light sanding. That'll take me a couple of days. So my original estimate of between 10 and 15 days is working out about right. 15 days, I think, definitely, by the time I finish sanding. Just need to wait for two things, really. A bit of, a bit of break in the weather where it's not threatening to rain and a day where my neighbour is not on night shift, because that's just unfair. For sanding all day long and he's trying to sleep. So join me on day 13 to watch a bloke with a sore back sanding 250 bits of wood. Hey! Day 13, time to sand 250 bits of wood. Now, it's been a few days, actually, in real terms. Uh, the weather's been awful. And today it's freezing fog, but it's beginning to clear, so I thought I'd crack on and get some sanding. Sand of rot.
Nice sanding, Joseph. So we're done. 250 bits of wood sanded. Oh, amazing. Three and a bit hours later. Really happy we got through that. Well, look, rather than bore you with us now doing all the top coats, the idea is uh, they're in batches of 27 because 27 is the amount of space that I've got uh, to store things. And I know from, from the primer that we can do... Uh, one coat takes me about an hour and a half and then the next coat takes about an hour. So the strategy is, now that the boat's here and we can work on it, to do the first coat of a batch in the morning and then come back late afternoon and do the second coat. Mm. Uh, the paint takes about four hours between coats, so that's perfect do a bit, go away, work on the boat, come back again. Uh, there are nine piles, so it will take nine days. You don't want to see that. Nine days. Nine oh days more gosh. painting. There's no more bloody sanding. Yeah, sanding. But nine days of painting. Good. And if you're interested, uh, we are using mm -hmm. uh, Rust-Oleum's kitchen cupboard paint. Yeah. Now we've used this, we actually have fitted wardrobes in our bedroom yeah. and we've used this uh, and it's amazing it's stuff. Amazing. It goes on really smooth, really nice, no blemishes, no bubbles, no orange peel look. Uh, it's quite thin so it, goes, it covers well. Mm -hmm. uh, it's waterproof which is perfect for the boat. Uh, we like the paint so much, that's why we've decided to use it again. And if you want to see the final product, <laughs> here you are, modelled by my glamorous assistant. <laughs> that's just one metre's length, so nine bits, yeah. all put together, all painted up, yep. two coats of paint. When we put it on board, it will probably need a touch up in places. Yeah, but, uh, but we, we like that, it's very yeah, nice. We like that kind of. Right, move your knees. Oh, I love the sound. I don't. It's big Ready. writing. Ready for your close up? No. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, liking, mm -hmm. and subscribing. We do enjoy your feedback. We hope you like this little mini series diversion while we were waiting for the boats to be delivered. And we hope it gives you an insight into how long things take mm -hmm. when deciding to use proper tongue and groove rather than the fabricated MDF panels or just sheet plywood. That's all for now, so we'll see you next time. And just a quick update at the tail end of this video. I'm finding it quite a challenge to do first coat in the morning, then go to the boat and then come back and do the second coat. It's pretty tiring, particularly having been on the boat and I'm, I'm exhausted after that as we get into it and I'm unfit. Uh, so I'm going to concentrate on the, on the painting, getting the painting finished. And the other thing I found is that putting the paint flat on the painted wood, sorry, flat on the ground, um, it was kind of sticking because it hadn't fully cured. It takes a few days to cure properly. So I've stacked them all up upright. So I hope you got something out of these, uh, this little mini series. Uh, it's been kind of fun making the video for it. Uh, kept me entertained during the fairly laborious task of all the painting and sanding. <laughs>